my Ford F-250 has a blown out spark plug, but no worries, we'll get it fixed. Not a big of a deal, this is V8 Triton, two valves engine, and if you first time to the channel, please subscribe, very appreciated that, you won't miss any videos. Let's get started, and I have spark plug number 6, spark plug number 6 is out, and uh, yeah, that's happened in the woods, and we're going to fix it right there, and you don't need a shop. All right, I will take you step by step and uh, yep, uh, you know, before you even go and purchase the repair kit or order one, you need to check the hole. All right, you need to use 1116 drill bit and check, make sure hole is not bigger than that because I'm going to use a regular Calvan 38900 repair kit and uh, for that application, if your hole is not bigger than that, you can use that kit. And if not, you can go double size and or triple. And I will put more information down in the description about sizes. Yeah, no problem. All right, take uh, everything what's covering that spark plug hole and get yourself access to the spot. And uh, I have number six pretty easy. All right, this cleanup, I put a rag inside the spark plug well and clean everything what's on the top and main name of this job as it like for tech maku lock i said cleaning cleaning and more cleaning okay we need air compressor that's for sure and uh, yeah yeah inspection and cleaning all right as i said i'm going to use 38 900 calvin spark plug insert installer kit and it's the best i think you can get on the markets so recommended by the old for technicians I have eight inserts but I need only one and my truck has 417 clicks and that happened I might use those ones later or well, give it to someone we'll see all right that's a rimmer and next step we need to apply the shop air to the cylinder head detector leak and put that uh, plug inside the cylinder spark plug hole connect your shop air and open the valve and uh, as you can see it's hissing all right 18 mil socket i'm using braking bar you can use a ratchet and i'm going to turn the engine over with a ratchet and uh, braking bar i'm using and that plug should pop out just uh it means both valves should be closed as you can see right here somewhere it will pop pop good that's what we want to have both valves exhaust and intake they're up and they're closed next step we are going to confirm that with it hold the pressure put that plug back push it in and open the air and it should pop again right on good we have no leak all right now next thing we need our boroscope i got this from a local automotive store you can buy it online and wire it to your cell phone using usb they're all good you need to inspect the make sure your piston is three four inches down that's very important and this as i this project is more like inspection cleaning and looking make sure everything's clean and right okay as you can see my piston is down just about three inches that's good it's confirmed all right take your precision guide and drill bit which is a rimmer we're using install that guide as you can see the flat side facing the valve cover use some wd-40 and lubricate a rimmer and I won't recommend you to use any type of grease because shavings can stuck with the grease and it will fall into the cylinder that will might be hard to get it out. Okay, as you can see, I put my rimmer inside the guide. The rimmer has a pin and you won't be able to drill further than that. Add a little bit more WD-40 to the rimmer and a guide. And I'm using a impact ratchet and a half inch socket this is a 3 8 air ratchet and yeah start drilling 
pretty simple, pretty easy, and yeah, add a little bit of WD-40 and keep drilling. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, critics, please put them down in the comment section below. This video is a demonstration. Okay, I need a extension for my 3.8 ratchet and 4.6, 5.4, 6.8. For gasoline module engine, they're all known for bonus power plugs. Not enough threads, as you can see, it stopped at the pin. Now we just reverse it and take our rimmer out. Here we go. Remove your rimmer, as you can see, there are the shavings, and uh, yep, pull the guide out as well. Yeah, you see those shavings around and uh, yeah, that's the main thing is get rid of those shavings 100% and it has been few months since I fixed the truck and the truck runs fantastic and no problem and ever since like new honestly and uh, yeah, as you can see that guide allows us to drill straight and that pin at the end of the rimmer will stop at the point when it's done. Okay, always use the safety goggles. Okay, let's put a paper towels around. We don't want to spread all those shavings all over the engine. Engine compartment, just cover and start cleaning. And cleaning, cleaning, more cleaning. And it, yeah, it just, you see, I'm turning that um, air wong and getting rid of those shavings and now i'm going to inspect make sure there's nothing's inside the cylinder and we'll do inspection cleaning until we we'll get rid of old shavings but we'll go and tap new threads but i would say it's easy to clean each step of the process all right i'm inspecting make sure it's clean and uh, yeah do a little bit more and i'm using a brake clean it just get it easier to remove all shaving spray a little bit and blow it, everything's out and remember safety is always first verse safety goggles okay slip top inside the guide and uh, yeah put a e-clip at the top of the top as you can see there is a slot and that will stop the guide from falling inside the cylinder when it's all way threaded you just keep going keep going keep going and as soon as it reached that e-clip it will stop that way lubricate the top and you see i'm just using wd-40 works fantastic and uh, yep what can be better that's a well, decent lubricant all right now we need to tap the new threads and uh, some people say use the air ratchet electric cordless ratchet whatever you have but i like to tap the threads just with a regular hand ratchet threads and it's a half inch socket for the top and i'm going slowly and i can control how it's going and i'm go few turn couple turns then back three turns then reverse it and make sure my threads are nice and straight and i made in some lubricant as well and uh, yeah it's pretty easy to go let's see it's all down yeah i speed it up on the video but it didn't take long it's pretty easy okay now i'm just using a ratchet to reverse the tub and yeah it's out yeah, simple as that. When uh, top reached the maximum depth, it stopped. And don't push too hard on the top because that e clip can slip off. And yep, pull that out. And as you can see, there's the shavings. And now we have brand new threads. So nice. Fords are great. <laughs> they have some issues like any other vehicle. This engine is very reliable. So let's fix minor defects yep clean up clean up clean up more clean up get all those shavings out and uh, yep look it's get uh, it got dark and i'm using a brake clean make sure is no any grease or on the threads because uh, 
our JB weld won't stick properly. Okay, make sure it's all clean, clean, and again clean. That's super important. Getting shavings out of the engine is most important part of this process. I'm using the tubing extension and yeah, then turning that my air wonk all the way 360 and I inspecting and honestly I spent almost 40 minutes cleaning, checking and looking with the boroscope down in, inside the cylinder, make sure it's absolutely clean and it is because if you will leave some shavings it will end it in a losing compression in that cylinder and it will damage the hone and might cost you issues uh, in future okay i need a little bit cleanup and uh, i would say you might better go and do the oil change after you've done this because could be some oil dilution with a brake clean yeah it's a good idea to do it oil is cheap and engines are expensive look nice and clean and yeah it's uh, the cleaning process more cleaning clean it and we're almost at the kind of final step but remember it's inspection cleaning and make sure there's nothing inside the cylinder uh, for tech makuloko has a great video how to do it i watch it i really like it and that's happened to me <laughs> i bought a ford motorcraft spark plug from the local ford dealer uh, ford likes ford okay i'm going to use a gb weld high heat high strength uh, it's better in my opinion than uh, permatex or loctite high heat high strength copper anti seize we need a little bit if, and important step guys go and inspect the insert before you will put it in, in the engine make sure there's no cracks no splits no any damages threads are all intact and yeah just take a minute inspect make sure it's all good we need to put a little bit of anti seize on a spark plug threads make sure nothing will get on the electro tip just a little bit around and now screw your spark plug inside the spark plug insert simple as that if you go and watch the farm project channel they tested different uh, thread lockers and jb well shown the best result but you can go and use a permatex or loctite they're all good but i decided to use a jb weld anyway okay this is a new jb weld make sure it's not expired cut it in a little bit and as you can see you need to mix it just follow those instructions uh, on a uh, packaging and mix it mix when it will turn into the same color compound and mix it well that's uh, important otherwise it won't stick and apply the gb well to the thread i step down a little bit from the tip of the spur plug and left the first thread open that just it will help me easy to start it the spur plug and the hole and you don't need much make sure nothing will get on a end of the spur plug and electrode and inside the spur plug and just push them in into the threads and clean the rest okay I have my extension and socket uh, for the spur plug and I am going to I'm starting the spur plug by hand just turn it it started I can, could feel it and now I'm just going and tighten with a ratchet yeah this is a like every single step is important and uh, now I'm torquing that all torque specs and everything I will put in the description down below and it's it yeah <laughs> guys very appreciated time watching and uh, yeah if it's helpful i'm so glad to share the what i know and what i do and uh, yeah if you would like to support my small hobby youtube channel please go and watch more videos and any comments critics suggestions and uh, put them down in the comment section below and we need to wait eight hours to get that uh, jb weld fully cured and I see I have a bumper and a step. It's easy to get it. All right, next morning I fired it up, runs good, no problem. I was so lucky, it broke down not so far. 
and yeah it's all in the woods all done and yeah okay guys see you soon and bye bye now